like about 7.15 in the morning and I'm about to leave um, to head to Orlando to go take the CCRN. Um, my appointment's not until 10, but I figured I should get there, like try and go early because I'd rather get there early, maybe stop and have a little breakfast, decompress a little bit, review my notes, and then go take it. So I've been studying for probably four weeks for it because I decided on a whim that I was actually going to go and take it because I wanted to take it before um, my CRNA school interview. So yeah, I am going to go take it. Wish me luck and I will check in with you guys when I get to Orlando. Well friends, we did it. We passed. I got 104 correct answers, passing score is 83, so 104 out of 125. Nailed it. It was difficult, it was very hard. I felt like I studied efficiently. It was more just ones that I was probably torn between two answers and just couldn't figure it out. There were a lot of tricky like uh, clinical practice, clinical reasoning, whatever, the not like um, knowledge based, just more like decision making questions. So I think I got tripped up on a couple of those. But overall, pretty good experience. Um, I highly recommend this book to study with, this Baron CCRN book. Um, that's all I used to study and I feel like it was definitely sufficient. There was some stuff on there that wasn't included in the book. Um, so if you're trying to get like a literally like perfect score, you might need to supplement a little bit. Um, but overall it was good. It's a little stressful because I showed up to the testing center and um, because of COVID and everything, they weren't letting, I guess, everybody in at the same time. So I had to wait. So I didn't even end up getting started until like like 10, 15 minutes like after 10. Um, and my appointment time was for 10. And like, I'm chronically early, so it really is hard for me to be late. Um, and not be on time with stuff. So like I got there an hour early. So I had a, a lot of time like waiting, but I just sat in my car and studied. So it was a little stressful. Um, the check-in process was pretty easy. I just like signed some paperwork. They like took my picture. They showed my picture. And <laughs> I have to show you guys this picture of me that they took. Like so bad. I, uh, there's like two cameras. I'm apparently looking at the wrong camera. But to make it worse, the whole time that you're taking the test, the picture is in like the top corner of the screen. So I'm literally like watching, like can see this horrible picture of me and I keep looking at it, it's like made me laugh inside. So that was a little bit distracting, but that part was funny. Um, so yeah, I, I took almost the whole time. I think I had like 30 minutes left over. I think you get like 180 minutes or something. Um, but yeah, I took quite a while, quite a while. I went through all the questions once and then and answered them the first time. And then I started back at the beginning and answered them all through a second time. Um, that's what I used to do on my nursing exam. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna do it. And I changed a couple of answers, but um, I also found that like there's a question that I skipped entirely. So I'm glad that I did that. And then it's a little stressful at the end because you hit submit and then you it brings up this like post survey just asking about like the testing center how was your experience whatever um so you you take that and the whole time you're like well i just want to know my score <laughs> so you go through that and then it's like okay you're done and then you have to take yourself walk back out um and then the person running it, it was this guy printed out the score sheet like folded it handed it to me and i was like okay you're done and so I'm like, okay. So then I walk out, I open it, and then I saw that I passed. But that was a little stressful. I just wanted to know, um, like, right away. So, like, my heart was, like, beating out of my chest the whole time I'm, like, doing this little post-survey. Um, yeah, but overall it was good. So I'm done. It's, like, 1.30 now. Um, I had to stop and drop off a jet ski part for Morgan at um, Jet Maniac's house. So I did that. And now I'm outside of Emma's. I'm waiting for her to get home. She's trying to grab food. Um, so I'm gonna go see Emma and my little goddaughter before I go home um, because they live in Orlando and I don't live here anymore. So I get to visit them a little bit because I'm here. So that is what I'm going to do now. Now I'm vlogging my day. So say hi. Hi. <gasps> hi, baby. Hi, monkey. 
Trader Joe's haul. I have to drive like over an hour home though, so probably not gonna get anything cold, but at least maybe some dry stuff. So, haven't been to Trader Joe's in forever. I miss it. Someone actually just told me though that Aldi, I guess, is owned by the same people that that do Trader Joe's, so I need to go to Aldi because I have those, but I'm gonna go check out Trader Joe's, see if I can find anything good. So I got really nostalgic for a second because the road that Trader Joe's is on um, is the same road that I used to work on um, at like my second serving job, Marlowe's Tavern. I worked there for a long time. Um, so I got really nostalgic because I miss, I don't know, I just miss part of um, my old life here. So, and then freaking somebody gave me really bad road rage. They were like, you know, I was trying to go straight and they want, I decided they wanted to turn. So they tried to just merge into the turn lane and then ended up blocking the lane that I was in trying to go straight. So I had to get on my horn a little bit, but. I don't know why, I get the worst road rage. It ruined my moment that I was having about being nostalgic about my old job that I worked on on this road, so killed my vibe a little bit. But anyway, we shot to Trader Joe's, so I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. <laughs> I'm gonna go in and see what I can find. So I probably look like a train wreck because I had to wait outside in a line to go in. Um, I guess this is stuff that Orlando is facing <laughs> more than where I'm from, um, but I literally had to stand outside in line and sweat before I could even go into the store. Um, but somebody remind me to bring a cooler next time I come to Orlando because everything that I wanted from Trader Joe's is stuff that needed to be like kept cold and so I didn't want to get it because I have to drive all the way home. But I got a couple good things like some kettle corn and some like agave maple syrup. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. So I'll look at it when I get home. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go face I-4. It's only like 2.50 right now. So I think I'm going to um, be able to get on and get home without too much traffic. But yeah, let's go ahead and get home. from my Orlando trip, got my CCRN, gonna go through my Trader Joe's stuff, put it away, and then I think I'm gonna clean the house because it's like 4.30, so I'm gonna clean, meal prep for work for the next two days, and then probably binge out on Grey's Anatomy and just relax because I think I earned it. So yeah, let's do it. So that was my CCRN exam day experience. Um, overall, pretty good experience. I don't think the test was super hard, um, but I did study for a good four weeks. Um, pretty um, straight, a couple hours each day. Um, reviewed when I could at work, and um, you know, just looked for experiences at work too. 
um, to help me study and to kind of reinforce information. So um, lots of practice questions and reading the rationales. Um, but really, I think if you get that Barron's book, that's more than you need to pass. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up and click subscribe so you can follow along with more of my videos. And I will see you next time.